Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're playing with some affordable makeup, so if you like to see new makeup releases, first impressions, here are my thoughts on the new Profusion collection, then just keep watching. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on YouTube. I do upload quite often, so highly recommend subscribing, turning on that bell so you're notified every time I post. And without further blabbering, let's get into it. Okay, you guys, so I bought this collection quite a bit ago, and of course, I'm a little late to the party, but I thought, you know what, let me just put this out there, because maybe you guys are seeing this collection at your local Walmart, and you're wondering if it's good or not. I haven't tried any of this stuff, so I have no clue. So we're going to go on this journey together. So I placed quite a big profusion order over, I think it was Memorial Day weekend, because they were doing like 40% off, and they had just launched a new collection. I am also always on the hunt for some good mascara, so I bought their Faux Lash Lengthening and Volumizing Mascara. This has the cutest packaging. Look at that. So on here it says this is a lengthening and volumizing mascara. Take your lash game to the next level with this Faux Lash Lengthening and Volumizing Mascara. Who doesn't love that? So we're going to test this out today. I also grabbed another mascara from them. This is the lengthening and curling mascara called Lash Out Loud. And it says, elevate your look with this Lash Out Loud lengthening and curling mascara. This lightweight gel formula lengthens and curls your lashes while keeping them clump free from day to night. So that sounds very promising. So we'll be trying this one out as well. This has really pretty rose gold packaging. I also received a free brush set with my purchase. I don't think I'm going to use these brushes, so I'll probably throw these in a giveaway. And I showed these two palettes. I can't remember in which video, but they're kind of giving me like Natasha Denona green brown and purple blue vibes. Not exactly, but maybe could be a fun dupe to that and i love this packaging it's very very cool kind of reminds me of the cosmic brushes packaging because it has a curve instead of just a rectangle shape and then i feel like every brand out there has been launching matte eye paints so i got the profusion ones these were pretty affordable so it says let your creativity flourish with this richly pigmented matte eye paint with a buildable and smudge free liquid to powder finish the colorful hues blend harmoniously to create the most beautiful blooming day to night look. So here are the colors. These look so cute, so I want to swatch them. So the first shade is called Daffodil, which is like a really pretty yellow. Ooh, that's really a nice, vibrant pastel yellow. I am excited. Then we have this pretty periwinkle shade. Ooh, okay, this one is called Bluebird. I'm so excited for these. Like, if they're good, that could be a game changer for me. Okay, this one is called Mary Mo. It's like a pretty, ooh, that's a pretty color. It's like olive green shade. And then I have the shade sweet pea i honestly bought this because of the name because my husband used to call me sweet pea when we first started dating and that's like a really pretty lilac shade so here are the swatches of these eye paints i'm curious to see how they dry down and then of course i grabbed a lip set so this is the lip bouquet in amore it's the velvet matte lip duo Glide your way to a perfect pout with this matte lip duo. The velvety smooth textures easily glides with every swipe, while the long wearing formula adds a fun flush of color for the perfect day to night pout. Universally flattering and perfect for everyone from beginners to pros. Okay, so here are the two shades. I thought these would be fun for summertime. This is like a berry. Ooh, and then this is like a coral. Coral shade looks fun. So those are the two lippies that I chose from the set. And then the very last thing I picked up are, of course, the cream blushes. So we've got hibiscus and rose petal. And these are made in China. 24 month shelf life, cruelty free. This packaging, so cute. Okay, this shade rose petal looks really pro. Ooh, that is so smooth. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, I just got like really excited about that color. 
It's the rose petal shade. It's like a brownie color. And then hibiscus looks like a coral. They're very soft and emollient. This one, I'm not really getting any pigmentation from. Oh my goodness. Is this a dud? It's like nothing's picking up on my finger. It's like so light. Okay, well, I guess this might be a dud. We'll see. Okay, y'all, so I've unboxed everything. I've shown you all of the things that I picked up from this collection. I think I got pretty much like one of everything. So that's good. We've got a lot to try out and see. So I'm going to start off with playing with the eyeshadow palettes. I do have on the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation and the Huda Beauty Concealer just to kind of perfect my face. So now let's play. Let's play. I'm so excited. I definitely want to use some of the eye paints, but I think I'm going to start off by doing my crease and then we'll kind of go from there. I do have a Profusion eyeshadow base. I don't love it, so I don't use it very often, but since we are doing a Profusion video, I might as well just go for it. Oh, this palette looks so pretty. Okay, please say a little prayer that this is the good Profusion formula. So I'm just gonna grab a blending brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Invigorating. I'm gonna throw that in the inner part of my crease. Okay, there we go, pigment. I'm shook at how pigmented this blue is. I was not expecting that. Okay, next I'm gonna go into this blue shade called Splendid. It's like a tealy blue, and I'm gonna put that on the outer half just to deepen it up. <gasps> Shook it. Okay, I'm gonna grab a Sony G brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Delightful, which is this darker purple. I wanna use it to deepen up the outer corner. So I'm just gonna place that on the outer corner. Okay, I will say that if I go in with the blending brush, the purple kind of gets overtaken. So I'm just gonna try and pack it on with this brush and try not to blend it out because I think it like blends away. And then just to amp up the intensity, I'm going to go into the shade called Rare, which is like a really dark purple. And I'm just going to pack that. Oh, I should have dusted it off. We got a little fallout. I will clear up the fallout later. So far, so good. And then I think I'm going to use the Periwinkle Eye Paint. And I'm going to use a Sigma like eyeliner brush just to get the details right. So I'm gonna put it on the inner corner. Okay, I don't know how I feel about eye pins, but this one I think is a little too watery for me. So I'm gonna have to wait and see what it looks like because it's so, so watery and I need to know if it's like opaque. So I'm just gonna wait for that to dry down a bit. Huh, I'm a little shook you guys. Cause like I said, I haven't used eye paints before. So I'm flying a little blind here. So I'm gonna wait for that to dry and I'm gonna switch over to this palette for this eye. And I'm so excited cause you guys know how much I love greens. So I'm just grabbing a blending brush and we're gonna start off with the dark shade. I'm gonna go into Nocturnal just to be different. And I'm gonna put that on the outer corner. I'm so tempted to just put this green shade all over my eye. Are you kidding me? It's so deep. Um, mm, it's like the best kind of like army dark dark green I've seen in a long time. Wow, okay, I'm impressed. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a Sony G brush and I'm gonna go into probably this shade called Willow. It's like a really pretty sage color and I'm just gonna put that on the outer corner here. I think some of these mattes would pair so nicely with the new ABH palette. 
like because it's got that green but it's like a sagey green vibe I'm not sure about the eye paint because it's still not dry and that's kind of bizarre okay I'm taking a little bit of secret garden which is the minty color and I'm just gonna put that in the inner corner the mattes in this palette are so pretty I just want to do an all matte look can I just be done like this this is such a pretty color what that is so pretty I don't think I've ever done a look this color before so I'm a little bit excited <gasps> okay I'm gonna it's gonna be an all matte look that's what we're gonna do and I just need to grab a brush and I need to grab a brow bone shade so I'm gonna go into nurture and I'm just gonna buff that on the brow bone just so there isn't a stark contrast between my primer and my brow bone shade. I was gonna use this eye paint to put on like a metallic. I'm a little nervous, but I think we should try it because it's not dry yet. So I'm gonna go back into this palette and go into the shade Awakening. And I'm just gonna try and pat on this. Okay, this is not going according to plan. I don't like this eye base. I can't help but feel like the eye base messed up this look, but I really like this eye. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish up these eye looks. On this eye, I'm gonna use Forest from Hourglass. It's like my new obsession for green eyeliner. I'm actually gonna use Fresh on this eye because this eye needs saving and I feel like fresh is the way to go. Pencil brush. We're gonna go into the shade Rare. This matte, the purples, did not play well with the blue. If you look at the outer corner, it's very patchy and I'm not seeing that on this side, so I don't know why that is a difference, even though it's like two eyeshadow palettes by the same brand. The performance <laughs> of these darker mattes on this eye is atrocious. Okay, and now I'm taking the light blue shade call Invigorating, and I'm gonna put that on the inner half of my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna go into one of these metallic shadows. I'm just gonna throw a little bit on the inner corner such a pretty color it's like a very putty feeling shadow it does have a purple base to it though so maybe i'll use a little bit of awakening awakening is giving me quite a bit of fallout though but that could be just because the base is crap okay so now for the green eye i'm gonna start off with the shade nocturnal and then i want to use the shade secret garden on the inner corner this secret garden shade is so vibrant and it just blends like a dream. I'm just going to grab a little bit of this Harvest Moon, which is the metallic and just, oh, are you freaking kidding me? That's so pretty. It's like a white base with tons of green sparkles. So I just needed that little pop on there. And so those are the two eye looks. Let me go ahead and throw some bronzer on so we can test out the cream blushes. So I don't know if I've been showing you guys, but I have been using the Charlotte Tilbury Cream Bronzer in medium in my shop, my stash. I bought, actually, yeah, I bought tan and medium and I wasn't sure which shade, but I think medium works well for me. I have to be careful with bronzer because sometimes I think like, oh, I'm tan, so I should just get a dark shade, but I think medium actually works really well for me and it actually like bronzes me versus like giving me, I don't know, sometimes it can just be too much with the wrong shade. So I've been really enjoying the medium shade and I'm happy with my choice. The shade tan I wear in the powder, but with the cream, it just looks so dark and I didn't want to keep both. So I decided to go with medium. 
and I'm happy with my choice so far. And then I just like to top it with a little bit of the Sigma bronzer. Okay, time to try the blushes. Let's try on hibiscus first because I felt like I was getting like no pigmentation from that. So I'm going to use this unearthly blush brush. Okay, this is definitely one of those blushes that you can build up. You don't really get a ton of pigmentation at first, but it's buildable. It definitely didn't swatch as good as it's applying, so I'm very happy about that. Okay, so for the shade Rose Petal, we're gonna go on, this one did feel pigmented and it's definitely just like a blush that you have to be careful with. You don't wanna grab too much cause you're gonna end up looking like a clown, which that's fine too, if that's what you want. Oh, I like that color. It definitely gives you that like sunburnt look. I'm kind of here for it, not gonna lie. And then I wanted to wear the coral lippy cause that just looked fun. So let's put that on. Ooh, I like this color, so fun. Okay, so the look is pretty much done. I just need to throw on some mascara, spray my face and all the things. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back to give you guys my first impression thoughts on this collection. Okay friends, so here is the finished look. I didn't film myself using the mascaras, but on this eye, I'm wearing this mascara, which is the Full Lashes Mascara. And on this eye, I'm wearing the Lash Out Loud Lengthening and Curling Mascaras. I will say that for drugstore mascaras, these feel pretty okay. I think I maybe paid like five bucks for each of these, so not bad. I think that these would be really nice if you have a very thickening mascara and then you wanted to like separate your lashes. I think both of these have great brushes for that. This one has like a really nice tapered brush, which I like for my lashes because it helps me coat them really well. And then this one has a brush that has like a curve to it. So both of these are really nice for that reason. Also on one side of this brush, it's taller bristles. And then on this side, it's like a little bit shorter bristles. So that's nice because you can flip the wand depending on if you're wanting to coat your upper lashes or your lower lash line lashes. Either way, they're definitely not gonna change your lash game, but I do think they're not bad for the price point. So just wanna mention that. Now let's go over some of the other makeup I tried out today. I will say just based on first impressions, the eye paints were probably the most disappointing. I feel like they took a while to dry down. They were very watery. I mean, it's also like very patchy and crackly looking. Now, I think these might be the first eye paints I've ever tried, so I don't really have much to compare them to. I don't know how well these will work as an eye base because that's what I was thinking of doing with them. Also, I was gonna try and do like some cool graphic liner type looks with them, but they feel so watery, I'm not 100% sure. I do like the options as far as the shades go because when I saw these online, I was like, oh my gosh, those are so muted. But I think they did a good job with selecting the shades because these could work really well universally as bases. So I will keep trying these, but first impression, I wouldn't say like run out and buy them. They're amazing because they're really not. Also, I did add a little bit of the Odin's Eye Warm Sunshine Highlighter. I just wanted to mention that to you guys because I didn't have a highlighter to try out for this video. As far as the blushes go, I think this is my second favorite product in the video today. You guys know I love cream blush, cream bronzer, cream highlighter. So really nice to find an affordable formula at the drugstore. These compacts aren't very heavy duty, but they do the job so well. Really like both of these shades, so I'm very happy I bought both of them. The lip products I would say are okay. I like this lip color. It's not the most comfortable formula, but it's not like super, super drying liquid lipstick formula that I've experienced sometimes in the drugstore. This is very much a satin in my opinion. So it's not completely dry and it definitely has that moussey texture to it. It's a good formula if you're balling on a budget and you don't wanna spend a ton of money and I love that you get two shades in a package. So that's nice because you have more options and I think this is a great color for summer if I'm being honest. 
And then last but certainly not least, I will say the eyeshadow palettes really surprised me. I really, really enjoyed this one. This is the Harvest palette. And I think these palettes are like $12 or something like that. But I think they look so, so nice. So very, very excited that I was able to play with both of these. I definitely think I'm gravitating towards Harvest just because this eye look was so simple and easy. And at the end of the day, I think that's kind of all we want when it comes to our eyeshadow is no matter what we pay for it, that it's easy to work with and we don't have to struggle. I really felt that way about this palette. I will say I wasn't as impressed with the darker mattes in this palette because if you look at the outer corner of this one, it looks a little messy because these dark shades were not layering very well with the lighter colors, but I definitely need to try some more before I give you conclusions on that. But the Harvest palette is super, super nice. So if you see this collection, at your local Walmart. Let me know if you picked any of this stuff up. If you were curious about this collection, I hope I was able to shed some light for you. And that is it for the video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will see you in another video very, very soon. Bye guys.